Hey guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Pretty Little Thing haul. And I know that try-on hauls are newer to my channel, so I'm just kind of winging it right now. Hopefully you guys like it. Speaking of winging it, I actually did a different nose contour method today, so it's looking a little muddy. You can roast me in the comments if you want. Also, if you guys want to use me as a size reference, I am 5'4". I weigh about 110 when I wake up, 115 after I've had a cracker. Real quick, just to mention, I actually did keep the same pair of pants on throughout the video since the tops are the only things that are from Pretty Little Thing. I just wanted to keep the focus on that. So with that being said, we're just going to jump into the video. So the first top we're going to be trying on today is this black frill crop top here. So this has a square neck and puffy sleeves. This one, when I was trying it on, I feel like you could make this into more of like a Bordeaux top, which goes off the shoulders. But if you were to do that, you would need to use some double side tape on the top here just so that this doesn't fall down. I did find that the sleeves were a little hit or miss. I don't know if they would really stay up throughout the day. I feel like one like shoulder move and it's done. But you can also use um, double-sided tape to just put on top of your shoulders, tape them down. It was a really cute top overall. Everyone needs that top where you can just eat a lot of food but you still look cute. This frill on the bottom just really hides that and it hits a little bit below your belly button so you wear like a high-waisted pair of pants, you're fine. Also, I got this top in a size eight. Uh, pretty much everything that I got was in a size eight except for one top so I'll let you know when we get there. Next up, we have this black crochet high neck top. So this is obviously see-through, but you can always wear like a bra underneath, like a black bra would be cute. Or when I actually saw this top, I thought of going to Goodwill and just getting like an old like vintage band tee, cutting out the logo of the band name and just putting that right here so that you don't have to wear a bra with it. I don't know, it looks super cute, super chic, punk. Also, it's a full zip back, so that's nice. It was a little hard for me to get out of, not gonna lie. Um, this might be like a second person kind of thing, but I did manage to get out of it myself. So there's that, it just takes a little bit of finessing. Next up is the petite black frill top. This is the crop top, obviously. This is a lot more cropped than it shows on the model. And I also sized down for this one. So I got a UK size six in this, and I kind of wish I would have kept the eight to go along with the rest of the theme for things. But I don't know, I feel like I was able to make it work, but I wish that I would have sized up. I do like the Bordeaux style, as I stated before, and this actually is pretty secure, so these aren't gonna be like falling down. It pretty much will stay put. It's nice, it's almost like a parachute material too, so it has some structure to it. Next up, we have this polka dot Bordeaux crop top. It's this guy right here. I really did like this one. I think it makes your boobs look really good, but this is another tie situation. So if you're really good at doing bow ties, these can look super seamless on you. And it is a full zip back, so you can get in and out of it. It'll take a little bit of finessing, but you can definitely do it. And I do like the zip backs because it allows you to have more structure to the outfit. So I do like that. Usually when they don't have a zipper, it's like a little bit more of like a flimsy material. So I appreciate it. So this one here is a lace up long sleeve. I did really like this one. This is also more of like a parachute material, which is nice that it's structured to it. This is another one where you're not gonna be able to really wear a bra per se with it. You can always wear those like stuck on cups if you feel a little more comfortable with that instead of going braless. But I did really like the structure of this. You can also make it a little more fitted if you wanted to. You can just pull the strings together. But this was another situation where I feel like the sleeves like one like shoulder move and they're going down. But I think double-sided tape is your best friend in these situations, so. Next up we have this pink organza t-shirt top. So this is what this looks like. I think I'm gonna have to try this one on on its own. This one, I definitely need somebody here to be able to get me out of this. So it has almost a full zip back, but there's about an inch at the bottom where you have to put it over your head and then do that and then zip it up. So it's not one of those things where you can like squeeze in, you know, put your legs in first and put it up, unless you like have no butt. I really do love this top though, because I feel like it's such an easy way to make something look a little more dressier, but also you're still pretty comfortable since it's more of like a t-shirt style. And I do like the organza sleeves on here. I just love organza fabric in general because it really holds its shape. I also got it in the black color as well, so these were the only two colors that it came in. Love these. Next up, we have the infamous oversized zip front sweater which if you don't have one of these, are you even an influencer? <laughs> but I got this one in gray and I also got it in the camo print. So let me show you. 
So I did get these in a medium. I kind of wish I would have went with a large. So they are oversized, but I feel like they're more just oversized in almost just the sleeves. And they are more of a crop, like, so if you do want that true, true cropped look, definitely go more, like, true to size. But I always like to size up and things like that. Even if you go a bigger size, it's still going to be cropped, but it'll be just a little more wearable, in my opinion, because I just like things a little bit bigger. That's all. Next up, we have this white blazer dress, which I feel like you're not really going to be able to see with my background here, but you'll see it on the catwalk. <laughs> Try not to get anything on this one because I definitely want to return this and get a smaller size. I got that one in a UK size 8. I think I want to go down to like a UK 6 instead. It was just a little, a little bit too spacious for me. I kind of want more of like a form-fitted look. With the blazer dress, it's kind of more up to your style preference because it's supposed to look a little bit oversized since it is supposed to look kind of like a men's blazer. But I don't know, I like more of a form-fitted look, so I'll probably size down. But yeah, I like the overall dress in general. I didn't find that the white was see-through, but just in case, always wear a lighter pair of underwear. It does have some shoulder pads in here just to give you more of like a structure. I think it's really nice. And they also have it in quite a few different colors. Looks like they also have it in black. They have it in like a really pretty baby pink, a baby blue, more of like a, like a cobalt blue, and also black. Next up, we have a Bordeaux style red velvet dress with some organza sleeves. I do love this dress, although this might be one where you might need some shapewear underneath or unless you're just planning on not eating the entire night. You know, like there's not any structure to it. It's not like a, they call it a bodycon, which because it's just formed to your body, but there, it's not like that spandex kind of bodycon that will like suck you in a little bit. So you do need to do the work underneath as a base and then throw this guy on. But I do really like this dress and I feel like it's just such an easy way to look like super chic and high fashion, but just in like a really simple way. Again, this is in a size eight and it only comes in red. Next up, we have the sage green long sleeve wrap dress, which is this guy here. So this one is super easy to get into, and it also has the um, zip down side underneath the armpit. Where is it at? Here it is. So that's what makes it super easy to get into and out of. I think I am gonna size down to a UK six on this one. It was just overall a little bit too big for me. I originally thought that maybe I could just belt it and kind of cinch it in a little bit on my waist and make it look really cute, but I think it's just overall a little bit too big for me. But they do have this in two other colors in case you don't like the sage green. They have it in like a blue and a red like floral print. It's really nice. So that is the end of my Pretty Little Thing haul. I hope that you guys liked this video. I know it's a little bit newer content for my channel, but I hope that you guys liked it because I'm really passionate about fashion. I just don't really talk about it that often. I didn't think that you guys cared, but hopefully you do care so I can make more of these. Give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.